if only, if only I could go back. And in this video, I'm gonna go over five regrets that I wish I had done while I was pursuing my cybersecurity online master's degree program. Hopefully by the end of the video, you'll have some ideas and how you can get the best return of investment or ROI on not only your money that you're spending, but also your time. And this is just something that I really wish I had done. So money can be replaceable. Like that's a replenishable resource. What you can't get back is your time. So you might as well just make the most out of it while you're going to call it. The please like, comment, and subscribe. This channel is all about helping you explore the many possibilities that you you have available to you, but may not even know it. So the first regret that I have is that I didn't get any industry standard certificates. And you may be like, well, why is that important? I'll have a degree. Well, industry standard certificates are recognized by the industry and are actually a lot of like places I've been like researching according to Tech Republic. And it actually showed that technical and IT and cybersecurity certificates may actually be more valuable than cybersecurity and information technology types of degrees. You're like, well, why am I even going to college? College is definitely beneficial as it gives you a structure and it does get you past HR. But if you're going through these classes and you're putting in that hard work, you're going to want to go for a certificate while you're in college. So if you're taking a security class and it's based on the CompTIA Security Plus, then you're going to want to go ahead and take that exam. So I went to the WGU Online Cybersecurity Program. It prepares you for the CISP. What I didn't do, and I wish I had taken this SP, but I didn't, and now it's been like a year, I still haven't studied for the CISP, I, I have no intentions of taking the CISP, but that certificate could easily increase my salary by $40,000, way more than a master's degree in cybersecurity could. I know that sounds a little maybe mind boggling if you're in college right now and you're just like, that doesn't make any sense. Certain certificates are extremely sought out and they also serve as a negotiation tool when you're negotiating your salary. So if you have a degree and certificates, you may be able to to negotiate a higher salary than you would have without these certificates. And you're also not gonna want to go back in a year and be like, wow, I'm gonna study for Security Plus because it's not as fresh and you're gonna have to relearn a lot of material. So if you get one thing from this video, take that certificate now. The second regret that I have in my cybersecurity career is that I didn't take good notes. And now these are not the notes that your grandpa and grandma took. This is a sophisticated note taking process. And a couple of months ago, I took Tiago Ford's Building a Second Brain. And this course transformed my life. The course does cost around $1,500. I, I don't suggest spending that unless you're just a huge, I, I don't know, even, I don't think that's like a nerd. Basically what he did is he broke note taking down into four different phases. The first one is being collect. And that means you're just collecting all of your notes. So you're just, you just have them out in notebooks or in Evernote or Notion. And they're not really like, doing anything. They're just kind of chilling. No like organization to them or anything. You're just collecting them. Kind of like how you would collect items or something of that sort. I have tons of collected notes. The next one is to organize this. And this is where my note taking kind of failed me. So my notes are on various devices and in various email addresses. Cause sometimes I would email things to myself and then that's how I would like organize stuff. It, it's pretty bad, but he has a system called para and this system transformed my life because it just gave me clarity. And now I can find things. I don't lose things all the time. Projects are things that you're wor actively working on. Areas are things that you're interested in. Resources are just resources that you found useful, say like some tool or something of that sort. And then archives are projects that you're no longer using. Life transformation, you can check out his blog. The next note taking strategy for cybersecurity while you're in school pursuing your degree is to distill all of this information. And this just means taking, say, a large sum of information and then make one or two sentences. So you can have a page 
But what exactly is this information saying? Is it saying the same thing? What's the main theme of it? And by using progressive summarization, you can distill it into two sentences. And the coolest thing about this is you can reuse this information so you don't have to continuously relearn it. And you want to do that now because you may not realize the benefits of progressive summarization and distilling your knowledge until like 10 years from now and you're like, I, I think I learned this like 10 years ago. But if you have a note on it, that note is forever and you can continuously build on your notes. Most people don't have this system and they're just kind of going around in circles. And this is probably the hardest part of this organization because it does take a lot of brain processing power, but it's only once. And then you can just forever use it for the rest of your life. The last part to his organization note taking is express. And this is by sharing what you know with others. And and a lot of people hoard information, which is the same as hoarding items almost. I definitely hoarded information. So just saying once you go through this and you have enough, share it with someone. And that leads me to my regret that I had when I was pursuing my online cybersecurity degree was that I didn't share my knowledge with other people. One of the best perspectives I took from this course was that you should share your knowledge with other people. And that is actually what started this YouTube channel because I was like, I have tons of knowledge on cybersecurity and IT and career. I've had like six jobs. I'm a pro at finding a job. I have tons of information on certificates, learning tools, because I'm continuously using this. So I have tons of excess knowledge on this topic. And I was like, I need to express it somehow. And that is how this YouTube channel was born was because I took this course and now I'm expressing my ideas and thought through video, which is way better than writing. So some people may prefer writing than doing YouTube and they don't like to get on video. I hate writing and my grammar is terrible, but there's tons of opportunities with blogs and all of that to share your knowledge. It's not too late in 2021 or 2022. Tons of opportunities. Some other ideas that you could do to express the knowledge while you're pursuing your cybersecurity degree is that you could create a course, you could create a study note, really good study notes and a study note program for different certifications for say that class and then you could sell it to people. You could teach local classes. You could go out into schools and then try to get them interested in IT and tech by teaching them or showing them a really cool project to maybe like pique their interest. You could create Anki cards, which are really useful, and then share them with the world. You could create GitHubs to help other people do home labs that they could put on their resumes or things of that sort. There's an insane amount of possibilities. And if the one thing that you get from this video, the most important thing is make sure to share the knowledge that you're gaining with other people. The next and final regret that I have is that I didn't make friends. Definitely blame this on the fact that it was during the pandemic. However, I, I will say I did have opportunities to join different clubs, different discord servers, different everything, but I just didn't. College is like a time, especially if you're going to a brick and mortar college while pursuing your cybersecurity degree, it's just a great time to make friends. Some of my best friends today are from college. Actually, that's also just how most likely you're going to land a cybersecurity job is through networking and, or from secondary connections of your networking. So some ideas to make friends, you could join Discord servers, you could go to meetup.com and go to meetup. You could join groups that you're interested in. The, the possibilities are endless. Just stay, I know if you're an introvert, it just doesn't seem like a good idea to go make friends, but I promise you, you will thank yourself for making friends. I wish I had made more friends and I'm actively engaged in making more friends currently in my life. But again, this builds on itself. The more friends you have, the more friends from of friends that you'll meet and all of that sort. And it can just be a ton of fun. I know you may not believe me, but it's worth it. So that concludes my regrets that I had while pursuing my cybersecurity online degree at WGU. So please comment like and subscribe as it helps the YouTube algorithm. Do that right now, go. And I have tons of other videos if you're still confused that go over all of the possibilities that exist in cybersecurity. So check those out and I will see you then, bye.